Yeah. Can I, can I ask you a question? What do you guys see if you play all these individual things out to their final level? What do you see the end result as? A collapse. Complete collapse and then yeah. just like a rebuild no, kind of. Yeah, like, like uh, I think it may happen. You know, like things break down. The system never truly goes away. People survive. They'll keep working. I think the cities are on the verge of collapse. I mean, actually, actually I think SF is dead. The mm -hmm. So something happens to uh, the, the how malls close. When one store closes, then people stop going to the mall, which lowers foot traffic for other for other stores, which causes more stores to close, and then it causes this cascade effect. That's happening to downtown San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Their hotels are being uh, uh, surrendered. The mall is not being surrendered. It's only 55% leased. When there's no reason to go downtown, people will stop moving there. People will stop working there. And then the less people are there, the less people need to be there, the more it'll collapse. Yeah. That's going to happen to the rest of our cities, too. You believe that across the United States? Do you believe there's certain cities that will be strongholds against Look it? at Detroit, right? Massive population uh, depart, like flight out of the state. So I, I don't think it means the cities will just cease to exist. I'm saying that as hubs, they'll just not, they won't be. I agree with that. And, and you could say it's technological, too. Mm. That like there's no reason to be there anymore because we can all work on Zoom and stuff for the most part. Mm -hmm. But I think we are going to see these cities that are rife with crime and other conflict and chaos. They're going to become undesirable and cheap. It's going to be like an inversion of the rural versus the the the, the uh, urban. Yeah, I, I think it's just such a shame because I think California has so much to offer on a nature level, on an entertainment level. It's just like it's a really cool place. But I think states, I mean, California is a great example there are people who live outside of cities who would never leave California. Mm -hmm. They love it. It's it's the city center that's the problem and the infrastructure that goes with it. Someone, uh, we just got a super chat from uh, a, a, a. Rancha who said, uh, we have the store, I just pulled it up. AT&T to close downtown San Francisco flagship store. I can only wonder why. I didn't read the story yet. We just, <laughs> we just pulled it up. They say consumer shopping habits continue to change and we're changing with them. That means serving customers where they are through the right mix of retail stores, digital channels, and our phone-based care team. He said there's still two AT&T locations within one mile of their financial district store. The closure isn't unique to SF. The Union Square store will shutter August 1st. A similar store in Chicago on Michigan Avenue will close on the same day, leaving the nation's only AT&T flagship store in Dallas. Interesting. I wonder why Dallas. I wonder what Texas might be doing to where they're okay keeping their store open. Mm -hmm. But uh, Chicago and SF, mm, not so much. I think that somebody was just walking into the AT&T store one day and they're just like, that's just one crack needle too many they, uh -huh. on their foot. They're just like, sorry, that's enough heroin in my feet for one day. No, you know when they have to put there. all their phones <laughs> yeah. behind vaults? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't Walmart just say that in San Francisco also that they're, they're eventually, I think they're going to shut down, but now they have everything. There's no Target workers there anymore. Walmart is closing uh, stores across the country because of crime. Yeah. I mean, and Walgreens it's, it's and everywhere. And for a lot of people, Walmart is a uh, is their main grocery store. It's their main mm -hmm. access to food. And so this is a big problem. There's a, I think a Walgreens, I think it's in Chicago, where you walk in, there's no products. There's yeah. a wall with a with an iPad and you walk up and type That's in what, what you I want. That's what I was talking about. Chicago, I thought yeah. it was San Francisco. And then they, they bring the items out to you after you pay. Mm -hmm. Wow, man. It's really funny because I remember when Amazon wanted to launch that store where you didn't, there's no cashiers. Mm -hmm. You walk in, grab whatever you want, and walk out, and it automatically charges you. Yeah, I I reached out to uh, to Amazon after figuring out a very simple way of bypassing the system, and they said, effectively, what I was told was that uh, uh, shrinkage doesn't matter that much because they save so much money on overhead by not having the staff to do to do checkout that they can absorb those costs. It's expected, but it is fascinating that they thought they could do something like that. I really don't think that'll work out in the long run because. If people aren't scared to steal and walk past security, what do you think is going to happen when they walk in the building and there's no nothing, there's nobody? Yeah. They're going to walk and take whatever they want, walk out, what are you going to do about it? You think a cop's going to go find a guy because he took $10 worth of food? Ain't going to happen. Yeah. Especially not in San Francisco if, if they have any there.